you're happy and I would say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know, then your face will surely show. Yeah, if you're happy. Well, my name's Maria Lancaster and my husband's Jeff. And uh, our daughter Alicia was the first baby born in Washington State that was adopted as a frozen embryo. And um, there's probably four or five in the state now. And from that particular program that we went through, which was Nightlight Christian Adoptions, I think they have about 200 born babies now. So, so, who's that? That's you, that's me, that's Daddy. Really? How come you're as big as me and Daddy? Because I grew at that time. There's you something grew? really, uh -huh. you know, a special bond. I mean, Maria carried Alicia through the whole, whole deal and, um, you know, that little girl would not be here if she didn't have a womb and, you know, and a mother. I mean, uh, it was, it from a father's standpoint, um, she's just the absolute, she's the apple of my eye. I, we do believe that embryos are a human being from the very start and um, one of the things that's very compelling um, to us was that our daughter was um, in the freezer frozen at two cells for four years and then simply implanted in my womb. So the embryo itself created its own placenta, a human being, and grew without any other assistance. It was its own little package, complete with hair color, eye color, gender, and we were, it was a demonstration to us that every embryo is a complete, unique, and total human being in its tiniest form. And that every human being was once an embryo. In our minds, there's just, there's really nothing to argue about. We have a, we have a little, uh, our own little, miracle. a miracle, that's right. We have our own little miracle. <laughs>